Remote Sensing in GIS and Desertification Research and Decision Making Title, Remote Sensing in GIS and Desertification Research and Decision Making Introduction Desertification, one of the most pressing environmental challenges of our time, refers to the degradation of arid, semi-arid, and dry subhumid areas. It poses a significant threat to both the enviro, mint and the livelihoods of millions of people around the globe. This article explores the role of remote sensing in GIS and desertification research and its impact on decision-making processes. What is remote sensing? Remote sensing involves gathering information about an object, area, or phenomenon without direct physical contact. It utilizes various sensors, such as satellites or aircraft, to collect data from a distance. This non-intrusive approach is particularly useful in monitoring large and inaccessible areas, making it an ideal tool for studying desertification. How Remote Sensing Supports Desertification Research 1. Monitoring Land Cover Changes Remote sensing provides a comprehensive view of land cover dynamics by capturing data on vegetation, soil moisture, and land surface temperature. By analyzing this D. Ada over time, researchers can identify areas undergoing degradation and quantify the extent of desertification. This information is crucial for policymakers and land managers in devising effective S. Strategies for Prevention and Mitigation 2. Assessing Vegetation Health Vegetation plays a vital role in combating desertification. Remote sensing techniques, such as Normalized Difference Vegetation Index, V, can accurately measure VE. Vegetation Health by quantifying the amount of photosynthetically active vegetation present. This data helps researchers identify areas that are experiencing a decline in vegetation cover and prioritize e-conservation efforts accordingly. 3. Soil erosion mapping. Erosion is a significant factor contributing to desertification. Remote sensing allows researchers to assess soil erosion by detecting changes in surface topography. By Annalee. Using satellite imagery and elevation data, they can quantify erosion rates and identify vulnerable areas. This information is invaluable for implementing erosion control measures and mitigating desertification. Typification 4. Water availability and management, water scarcity is closely linked to desertification. Remote sensing can assess water availability by monitoring changes in surface water bodies, groundwater lewa, LS, and moisture content in soil. This data aids decision makers in identifying areas at risk and developing sustainable water management strategies to prevent further degradation. Role of GIS in Desertification Research GIS software enables the integration and analysis of geospatial data, making it a powerful tool in desertification research. Here's how GIS contributes to the fight against desertification. 1. Spatial Analysis GIS allows researchers to analyze and visualize geospatial data in relation to desertification. It helps identify vulnerable areas, assess their proximity to population centers, infrastructure, and natural resources, and prioritize interventions accordingly. 2. Land Use Planning GIS facilitates land use planning by integrating various datasets such as population density, land cover, and soil characteristics. This information supports decision-making pro. Cesses related to land allocation, conservation, and sustainable development. 3. Decision Support Systems GIS-based Decision Support Systems DSS, assist policymakers by providing a platform for scenario modeling, risk assessment, and resource allocation. These systems integer 
8 data from remote sensing, climate models, and socioeconomic variables to aid inform decision-making processes. 4. Public awareness and education. This technology can be used to develop interactive maps and visualizations that raise public awareness about desertification. By showcasing the issue geographically, this helps communicate the severity of desertification and its consequences, motivating stakeholders to take action. The integration of remote sensing in GIS has proven to be invaluable in research and decision-making related to desertification. Additionally, remote sensing in GIS can contribute to the development of early warning systems for desertification. This proactive approach allows for timely intervention and the implementation of P. Reventive measures, reducing the negative impacts of desertification on ecosystems and communities. Furthermore, remote sensing and GIS play a crucial role in the assessment of the effectiveness of desertification prevention and mitigation measures. This information is essential for refining straight. GIS and implementing sustainable land management practices. It is worth noting that remote sensing and GIS are not without limitations. The accuracy of remote sensing data can be affected by atmospheric conditions, sensor resolution, and the availability of C. Loud free imagery. Additionally, the interpretation and analysis of geospatial data in GIS rely on the quality and accuracy of input datasets. Therefore, ensuring the accuracy and reliability of data. Sources and employing appropriate data processing techniques are crucial for obtaining meaningful results in desertification research. Alternatively, remote sensing and GIS can be utilized in the prediction and modeling of future desertification patterns. These models can help decision makers anticipate future risks and plan for F. Active mitigation strategies, ensuring the long term sustainability of vulnerable ecosystems. Moreover, remote sensing and GIS have the potential to facilitate international collaboration and knowledge sharing in desertification research. This collaboration can foster the development of INNOV. Additive solutions and harmonized approaches to combat desertification worldwide. Continued. Additionally, the use of remote sensing and GIS in desertification research can contribute to the understanding of the underlying causes and drivers of desertification. This knowledge can inform Pulley. side decisions and help address the root causes of desertification, leading to more effective prevention and mitigation measures. Furthermore, remote sensing and GIS can assist in monitoring the impact of climate change on desertification. As climate change continues to exacerbate aridity and influence precipitation patterns, I. T is crucial to study its effects on desertification processes. Remote sensing can provide data on changes in temperature, rainfall, and vegetation cover, while GIS allows for the integration and ANA. Lysis of climate data in a spatial context. This interdisciplinary approach can improve our understanding of the complex interactions between climate change and desertification and support the development of adaptation strategies. Remote sensing and GIS are essential tools in understanding and addressing the challenges posed by desertification. Through the integration of remote sensing and GIS, stakeholders can make informed D. Decisions and implement effective strategies for prevention and mitigation. Remote sensing captures data on land cover dynamics, vegetation health, soil erosion, and water availability providing valuable information for policymakers and land managers. By analyzing this data, over time, researchers can identify areas undergoing degradation and quantify the extent of desertification. This information is crucial for developing strategies to combat desertification and prot. 
CT Ecosystems This software allows for the integration and analysis of geospatial data, facilitating spatial analysis, land use planning, and decision support systems. GIS enables researchers to identify vulnerable areas, assess their proximity to population centers and natural resources, and prioritize interventions accordingly. By integrating remote sensing data with GIS, stakeholders can access comprehensive e-information to guide decision-making and implement sustainable land management practices. Furthermore, remote sensing and GIS support public awareness and education about desertification. Through the development of interactive maps and visualizations, these technologies can communicate th. E. Severity of desertification and its consequences to the public. By raising awareness, remote sensing and GIS encourage individuals and communities to take action and contribute to the fight against. Desertification.